What up guys, tough thumbs here. All right, so it seems the epic failure journey has come to an end. Seems I have conquered the mighty Anzo 67 problem I've been having for so long. And I'm, I should get an award for best fix of the year slash dumbest asshole ever, because it was so simple. Uh, basically right in front of me the whole time I've been doing it for the past couple weeks, like a lot, so. Yep, so, dude, the owner of this, you know, yeah, I've had this for a little while, man. I just refuse to let it just go, you know what I mean? Um, but now it's perfect. Uh, minus one thing, but you can see, you know, it's, I had to re sandblast it and everything. Um, this is just sandblasted on the back, it's not stonewashed. I can stonewash it if you want. Uh, you know, I just wanted to put it together so, uh, see if it worked out and everything. So, the fix was backspacer. has a small gap right there. I'll fix that in a minute. Just didn't tighten it all the way. But um, it's basically put this backspacer running up against the pin, push the pin up. Um, basically, so there's no up and down, left and right, there's nothing. So it's finally, finally good. And uh, just recommend not whipping it open. Uh, you know, I recommend just doing that, and uh, yeah, you won't get any blade play. Um, I'm probably going to remake this one again. Uh, I'm not sure about the color. This is a test run. I don't know if he wants if you want this color, dude. Um, sorry, but the music's loud. But yeah, so just put a tan backspacer there. I didn't anodize anything, you know, I had to re-sandblast everything, make it work right. Um, but yeah, I just gotta fix that gap. And um, that fixed it. So if you're gonna get a 67 done, you're gonna have to have a backspacer. Sorry. So no flow through design anymore. But you know what? As long as it works better, you know. And uh, you know, I'll provide some grip here. Yep, so that's that guy. This is the thing that made me hate this knife. It was my favorite knife for a while, but you know, I started to hate it pretty much. So I'm gonna redo this backspacer. Uh, dude, owner of this, let me know the color. I'm not gonna be sending anything out this week um, coming up, except for a few that have been here for a little while that uh, need to go out because I've been having some real issues with USPS lately. I have no problem with them, you know, they're good people and everything, but too many things, like, I, it was the last straw, just this whole Christmas thing, they're catching up on it. Um, and they're making a lot of mistakes, and it happens. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with them, and I don't hate them or anything like that. It's just, you know, one one too many things got lost. I mean, I had this two Maxes get lost, which I'm taking care of right now. It's got, finally got resolved after three months. And um, just recently did a military in orange with a black backspacer. You guys saw that one with the camo dip thing. And uh, that was delivered on the 22nd. And I got a message, hey man, just checking in to see where my military is. So they apparently delivered to his address, yet it's not there. So luckily I insure everything. So, you know, I got another military coming on the way anyway. That's the way I roll, guys. I can't always just give you everything you want, but you know, if I, you know, I have access to getting spider codes pretty cheap, so you know, I can get that and uh, fix that up for them. I will repimp whatever gets lost, you know, for free. That's a definite. Um, whether I can pay for the knife or not, but you know, I do my best. So I like to help you guys out, um, but at the same time, I can't be responsible for you know USPS losing something. So. Anyway, with that said, speaking of USPS, I got something in the mail today. I rescued a knife from the evil torture layers of of Neptune knives. Yep. This thing is awesome. Perfectly fine. I don't see anything wrong with it whatsoever. But, uh, you know, Mr. Neptune didn't like it too much. 
Dave's a funny guy, so and uh, he's a good guy. You know, I've got to know him for a while, and uh, you know, no matter what his views are on his knives and his videos, you know, he is who he is, and uh, you know, he's a good dude. So, and he hasn't been around for a while. He's been going through some personal problems, guys. So give him your support when he comes back. Uh, he's definitely need, needs it. Says uh, he has been having a crappy Christmas and everything. So. But it's not my place to really get into it, so. Anyway, so the masterpiece of the evening. So this guy is no stranger to pimpage. Uh, the Benchmade 755 Pocket Rocket. Um, this one finally got to do one without carbon fiber, which I'm happy about. Because uh, carbon fiber is a pain in the ass sometimes, especially with this guy. It looks the best on here, but it's, it's just a pain in the ass with this dude. Because, uh... Sorry, I'm, I'm shivering. I'm freezing my ass off right now. Anyway, so I just throw this guy in here real quick. That's so awesome. I've been carrying this thing all day. Just love it. But um, okay. So the Benchmade 755. I went for a more uh, classy look on this one. Um, I just thought it looked good with a nice elegant style to it. So you got your nice satin blade. This is also belongs to Jack. Uh, uh, classic custom knives. I, I'll provide a link down below. You guys, check out his uh, his website. He's a good guy. But this is I only have one more after this one. So this one I did tan, and it's a new pattern. I'm gonna call it the saw blade, the saw pattern. It's just like lines. Or it looks like a saw coming through the bottom, or some kind of teeth or something. If you got a better name, you know, let me know. I like uh, hear suggestions. It's cool. So, yep, everything's tan. Same on the back here. This looks really good up against the uh, the gray on the titanium. Yep. Right, I need to lube it up first. Yeah, I like this pattern, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like the Reptilian minus this side, and it's uh, you know longer over here. I think it looks sweet as hell. It's got a nice little zigzag pattern in it. I'm probably gonna be doing this on a few others. Definitely really like this pattern. Sorry, I'm listening to Viking, Viking Death Metal, courtesy of D. Moore something, Burger or some shit. Yeah, this knife looks real good in this color. I'm very happy with the results. Um, yep. And also, guys, um, everybody's been asking me about the ballast songs. Um, I'm getting to it. I have a lot of, you know, I got to take care of my business first. Uh, but I have a few people. Uh, I think the Microtechs are pretty much sold. The Microtechs ballast songs. Um, the Benchmades are all still available. Um, and the Strider. The Strider. Um, uh, Larry Davidson is still available and uh, all the fixed blades I showed you um, are all still available and guys if you see any abuse with knives make sure you do your best to rescue it I'm just joking I'm just messing with you Dave if you're watching this but I'm glad I got this at a good price one of my favorite knives I've always wanted this this uh, tan handled prestige or whatever the hell you call it or uh, I forget what they call it I've always wanted this one I've had, I used to have a CQC7 uh, B it had no no wave and it was serrated and I loved it and uh, it was definitely my favorite Emerson I've had a few Emersons but nothing compared to this one so once I you know I asked Dave if he wanted to get rid of this because he didn't like it and 
I got a good price and I love this knife, so especially this color and everything. I've always seen this sitting there on forums going you know, for way too much money and I finally got one, so a lot of tan tonight guys, sorry about that. But Yep. So I'm gonna redo this backspacer dude. Uh let me know what color you want it to be. Um and I'll do that up for you. And uh Yep. I don't know. I hate these things. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. And uh seriously appreciate the support and like the feedback on the the titanium toad. I'm loving it guys. I may make some more. Uh, maybe in the next batch coming out I'm gonna have more than I'm selling. And there's still some available guys, so I think I have about five five left that I'm willing to do, so and the D2 fixed blades, you know, about a week for heat treat, so they'll be back after that. And then I gotta make handles. Once I get them, though, I'll make them right away because I'm just really excited about them, guys. They're thicker, and uh, you know they're they're gonna be really sweet. They just look awesome. So, but um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.